I wouldn't say that. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on! I practiced the first verse in my room. Oh. Jesus walked in wisdom. Jesus grew in truth. He showed love to God and men while in his youth. No, you start right <laughs> As I walk with Jesus, and he will walk with me. Oh, you have been practicing. Now, second verse. Oh, wowie. Boston is retelling his dream to Lincoln, and it has been going on for at least 45 minutes. And Lincoln is hanging on to every single word. Good morning, everybody. We are up in Adams. Everybody is dressed and ready, and we're making a special breakfast that Boston and Lincoln no Lincoln Lincoln has been asking for for a while now huh bud mm -hmm. what is it toast and you get a cup and you put um the bread uh -huh. right under it and then it makes a hole mm -hmm. and then you can use the bread as a little pancake or you could just throw it away yeah yeah and then you use the hole <laughs> put an egg in it. That's that's the long egg version of it, but that's what we're doing. And it is such a beautiful day. Like the temperature out here is incredible right now. The yard feels wonderful to be out and about in. So it's like, yeah, we're gonna cook outside. You gotta take your cup and yep. You now push it down real hard and then you gotta twist it. Until you feel it release. And then it releases and then keep that toast. We want that. Make it a few man in a raft. I heard it called Adam and Eve on a raft as well. Like, I don't know why it's Adam and Eve. Yeah, that's weird. Let's see these guys. Did he the toast? Right. No, Cody, I'm gonna crack me. Link, you think you're gonna do this whole breakfast? Okay, bud. <laughs> well, I want yeah. it to. Yeah, go ahead. Our neighbor was like, is that grill worth it? We're like, yes. I'll link it in the description for you. Lincoln can have that one. He cracked it. He's like, shell went everywhere. He's like, I don't know how to crack it. Sure you do. It's cracked, but you did a great job. I once cracked it. It was perfect. That one just wasn't. That's all right. Oh! You will not your soap off. Oh my gosh. So you try it. Pump the brakes, kid. Talk about the worst torment of your life. No, this is the greatest day of my life. Look at this little... And it has a scooper. It has a mini baby scooper. You probably can't even fit a jelly bean in the scooper. <laughs> no. Yeah, like, yeah, look, one look at incredible. Time. Is okay. there so many you can fit in it? Look, right there. Oh, wow. If you ever get a chance to come to Smith & Edwards, it's a super store. It's incredible. I seriously love when we show up wearing the same clothes. Oh, <laughs> Julie. Julie's wearing a dress that I have. <laughs> I see, oh, it's maybe a little bit different. It's just, it has so the same cute. print though. I seriously love that. <laughs> Jared's like, he's like, y those are like jelly shoes. Like, oh, the yeah. I'm like, they're my favorite. Yeah, I seriously love them so much. 
Oh, where's, 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 where's my jelly shoes? You fell asleep on the drive down, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> oh, don't hold my hands away. I want you to hold your face. I want to hold your pretty face. Should we show um, what yeah. shoes she's wearing? These were my baby shoes, and they just happened to fit. Your baby shoes? Yeah, yeah. I wore those when I was a baby. Oh my gosh. And I have a picture. We'll insert the picture so everyone can see. And that. Bonnie said that I could use them until she outgrows them, and then I'll give them back. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's yeah, so yeah, sweet. yeah. Isn't that fun? We need to like write Bonnie and. Uh, <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to say Lucy, but I was like, I Emma, wanna, Lucy. I want to always call her Lucy. Ooh. Sorry, Millie. Have we told everybody even what's going on? <laughs> okay, today was my gr my mom and dad's farewell, and typically when someone goes on a mission, um, what they give like a talk in church, mm -hmm. you know, that that's what we're here for. <laughs> he did it where... when he was nineteen. He did yeah, it again now. Yeah, that's wild. Sorry, I wasn't commentating very well. That's okay, I like it. Okay, I like to dress. Hi, Linda. Amen. 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 Well, thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what she said. No, I agree. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Do you guys know why Grandma likes money? Mom, yeah. Who knows why I like money? I know. So I prefer I know down the store. Well, that's a good start. To pay attention. I love to pay tithing on it. And you can get the pay a house and a bunch of food and tithing. I think that's good. I love money because I had a grandpa my grand who would oh. give me money all the time. And my grandpa is the same as your great grandma. Grandpa. And your great grandpa. Am I your grandpa? Carl Peter was his dad. Mm -hmm. Yes, Carl Peter Nielsen was. Otto's dad. And do you know I keep his picture downstairs? Do you yeah. know that, don't you? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Before we do anything more, I want to tell you about him. He, he was the most generous 
and the kindest man you would ever want to meet. Do you know how much I love you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I swear this grandpa, he had even a bigger capacity than I do. He loved us. And I want you to know something. This man is our angel. And I know it. Isn't he, David? He's, he is more aware of us than we are of him. And when I was a little girl, he would take the little grandkids and he would just cry and he would say, thank you, thank you. Because he said when, we, when he was going to marry Grandma, his wife, he says, us, he says, you kids, I know you were up there pulling for me. You were up in heaven pulling for me to marry Grandma. And he would thank me all the time. And so now I have to thank him because I know he's pulling for us. He's pulling for us. What I want you to do, I want you to come up here one at a time, a little list at a time, and I want you to dig your hand down in there and get some much money. Do you want to see it? Oh, I so much money. My money doesn't cover you. Oh, yes. they jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> I come on you guys. We're bad. I got so late. I want to tell you a secret. <laughs> Julie, yes. if you go yep. this way, <laughs> underneath, don't, don't and not have your sack no, really second. close and just go. They're not really going to be able to send birthday presents, and so they put enough money, change in a bucket, that would you know, equate to what they would spend for each kid's birthday for the two years that they're going to be gone, and then each kid got to go and collect their money. Okay, we'll call you and you'll be fine. You don't like Bonnie and Mark and Mark? I love Mark and Bonnie. And they're going to be here to take care of you for Christmas. Yeah. Birthdays. Okay? <laughs> yep. She's going to be here. Yep. Linda. You're going to be just, you're going to be golden. I see you're going to call me back. <laughs> Never forget for my present. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks. Two weeks. You want more presents? Sweetie. Here she goes, boy. 
Put your seatbelt on first and I'll hand you your cake. <laughs> okay, Bonnie, give me the cake. Alright, I'm in, give me the cake. <laughs> Enough of this sappy crap, give me that cake. Uh, I'm used to kissing babies all day and then I go to kiss him I'm like you're not a baby <laughs> well I'm the baby of the family you That's are right. and okay go down and pick a movie I'll be down in just a second okay. we only have Lincoln because everyone else is staying over for a I'm sorry but the lighting is like incredible right now like you look it's just me it's not the lighting it's golden hour inside our house <laughs> um Kids are spending the night at grandma because they were just so sad to leave her and they knew that it was gonna be one of their last times getting to have a sleepover at grandma and grandpa's house with them. So they're all over there. I'm not complaining. I mean, you know, this night with only Lincoln's gonna be fantastic. Um, but I wanna close the vlog by telling you something that my mom said when they were saying goodbye to Aunt Linda. So it did feel kind of emotional watching my parents say goodbye for the very last time to Aunt Linda. And I don't know why I felt like I was saying goodbye to her, um, cause you know, we're gonna see her plenty. But when my parents were saying goodbye, she got in the car and my mom kind of got teary. And she said, you know, she's only five years old. Um, and that, that kind of puts into perspective how they have treated her and cared for her because mentally that's about her capacity and um, that was just really sweet but my mom and dad both were just like we know she's in good hands and we're doing what we need to do and so that was just kind of sweet did you think anything mm -hmm. well I just thought it was crazy to have um, I don't know I guess I wasn't expecting that because I thought well we're not saying bye to your mom and dad today but Aunt Linda was, and yeah. that was a big deal. And she knew it, which mm -hmm. she's oblivious to most things other than Christmas and her birthday and presents. Mm -hmm. But she was very aware that she wasn't going to see Chad and Jennifer only because she'd witnessed her parents before mm -hmm. going on a mission. And so, I don't know, that was just really sweet to just see her be pretty sad about losing her big brother for, little brother, <laughs> um, for a long time for her well um, you're right she she's gone through it before mm -hmm. with um when her parents went on a mission and she was being a very big girl mm -hmm. you know yeah. like she was being very grown up and just knowing okay you're gonna go and i'm not gonna throw a fit mm -hmm. because if you let if you, if we let her throw a fit she would throw a fit but because of the way she's been parented you know by everyone around mm -hmm. her she knows she has to be good and she has to behave and she's really good to behave so like a typical five-year-old like a typical five-year-old well sweetie we love you aunt linda we love you aunt linda we love you mom and dad thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you all in our next video bye <laughs> Oh wow, I don't know why that came out so loud. I'm gonna include the audio.